Hello again, as you know, I am Eli the Computer Guy, and today's class is Classic Shell to Get Start Menu in Windows 8. So as you guys know, as my fans know, I am a diehard Windows 8 hater, basically. I have three different Windows 8 computers, and I just find the user interface, user experience in Windows 8 to be just completely piss poor. This is not uh, anything against Microsoft specifically. I personally love Windows 7, but when I actually go down and try to do window, uh, work with Windows 8, I just find it to be an abysmal mess generally. Because for somebody like me, I have to switch between the desktop interface to the modern interface, click this right click the oh it is just it is just it's it's horrible it's really one of those monstrosities in life so a lot of us have been wanting a lot of us have been asking Microsoft 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 we want to buy your Windows 8 we want to use your Windows 8 just give us our start button back right you know put in all the 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 nice additional functionality and stability that Windows 8 is supposed to have but just give us our our start button back. We are dealing with desktop computers. We are dealing with laptop computers that don't even have touch screens. Having a touch screen interface on a computer that doesn't even have a touch screen it just makes everything really bad. Well, unfortunately, Microsoft really hasn't cared. Microsoft has said, this is what we are doing. You are stuck with it. And if you don't think this is the coolest thing in the world, then you are a complete and utter idiot. Thankfully, there are a lot of programmers out there and there are a lot of hackers in the good form out there that are trying to work around this monstrosity that Microsoft has created to give us back our start button. So the classic shell is a simple program that essentially simply gives us our start button back. So when you install classic shell on your computer, from that point on when you boot, you will boot into the desktop interface. So no longer will you be booting into or logging into that metro or modern interface, you will boot directly into the desktop interface. Beyond that, it gives you the start button, it looks like this little shell and when you click on it, you get the, the, the start menu that you've come to, to get used to over the past almost 20 years. So you click on the little shell, it gives you a thing for programs, it gives you a thing for control panel, it gives you all of the stuff that you would be looking for and that your clients or your CEO would be looking for. Now the good thing about the classic shell is that it is actually free. So it's free, it's open source, of course they ask for donations, but this is something you can go out and you can put on every one of your clients' computers and every one of your employees' computers, and it will be A-OK. -okay. To show you how this works, let's go over to the computer now so I can show you, because again, it, this doesn't make Windows 8 perfect, but this makes Windows 8 usable for those of us that just find Windows 8 just to be an abysmal, abysmal monstrosity. So if we go here and we look at my computer, this is my Windows 8 computer, this is my ASUS uh, laptop that I use when I go out on the road. And so we're looking at this horrible metro interface, modern interface, whatever they want to call it. I call it obnoxious. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to desktop. And basically, what you're going to want to do if you want to get this classic shell, all it is, all it's called is classic shell, is you go to classic, oops, you go to classicshell.net. If you go to classicshell.net, that's where you can download this, and you can see it's got all the information. Basically, it says it's a beta now, but so far it's, it's worked really, really well for me. It gives you all that information there. So... All that happens is you download it from that site and you install it. Once you install it, you get this nice little shell button in your lower left hand corner. From that point on, you can click the shell button and as you can see, you get your nice little start menu. So for all those fancy Windows 8 apps Microsoft is so excited about, it does give you a little apps folder. So you know if you want to do games or fresh paint or any of that, that's still there. But then if you go to programs, we get a program list like we're used to. So you can see I have Google Chrome here, you can see there's Classic Shell, you can see all the software the way that we are used to seeing it. Beyond that, we have a quick link over here to Control Panel, Network Connections, Printer, 
computer. I mean, basically, this makes the computer act as if it's good old Windows 7, or at least the Windows that we're used to. You can even do right click and go to computer properties and it will take you to the right place. So essentially by installing Classic Shell you get back the user interface that you have gotten so used to using uh, over all these years. Now uh, the, the start menu and the start button has changed over the years so you may want a different version of the start menu. If you right click the little shell and you go to settings you can see that they have the different options for you. So there's Windows Classic, there's Windows XP, and there's Windows Vista Windows 7. So I was showing you Windows Vista Windows 7. We could click on the Windows XP. It'll ask if you want it to be reset. You say yes, then you hit OK. And then if we go down here, we can see it now looks like the XP uh, start menu. So this is basically all the classic shell program does. I have been using it for a little while now. It seems to be, even though it's beta, it seems to be completely stable. I installed it. There were no issues at all installing it. Um, again, it seems to be free. As far as I could understand, it was open source, so you can use it as you want. Um, and it's just good. And one of the nice things I like with open shell is it also did not try to install any kind of like crapware uh, when I installed it. So a lot of times when you get one of these free applications that you download from the internet, uh, it will also try to install like a Yahoo toolbar or a McAfee virus scanner or something like that. One of the things like that I liked about Classic Shell is it didn't try to do any of that. But there you go. And the nice part is, like I said, I can't show you here, but if you do go to reboot your system, it will boot directly into the desktop. So this one little app basically fixes all the problems most of us have with Windows 8. It's really a user interface issue, right? Now you guys might be thinking, you know, since I'm a Windows 8 hater, has this turned me back to liking Windows 8? I'm still a little irritated that Microsoft is not the one to have given to us this to us. Again, this was created by, by programmers on their own, on their own time which makes me a little nervous that Microsoft might come out with something in the future that will end up breaking this. Remember, Microsoft puts out updates every single week. So if an update comes out that, that does something to this particular program, that could cause problems. But for now, Classic Shell works really well. It's free to use and it's just a great thing. Basically, it makes Windows 8 usable. So, as you know, I am Eli the Computer Guy. Today's class was Classic Shell to get the start menu in Windows 8. As always, I enjoy teaching and look forward to seeing you at the next one.